Hey all, Russ here, RV TV. Welcome. Check it out. We're getting off at uh, Baker, California. Getting off this I-15. We've only been on it about, oh, 30 miles or so. Heading up towards Death Valley. We're going to cut up uh, a little more through uh, California and then we'll end up in Nevada. But I'm going to spend the night up here in a RV park. I already called ahead. Should be good. Actually, I need a little bit of fuel. Let's stop here. Baker is kind of like a trucker town. Truck stops, motels. There ain't a whole lot here. I've stopped here a few times traveling through. This Chevron looks good as any. Got to pay the California price, though. <laughs> I just need to top off. Alright, you guys wait in the van. I'll be right back. Right away we go. There's a busy I-15. Just truck after truck. All right. One thing Baker's famous for, and we're going to see it here in just a minute. A couple things. Look all the truck parking just off to the right. All the fast foods. All that. But they all they have that uh, Alien Fifty One jerky. It's a huge store. See, it should be right up here on the right. Yep, there it is. Look at all the aliens for the light post, the big sign, all that stuff. <laughs> and look at this little tower here. Not little, it's big. It's the world's tallest thermometer. Matter of fact, I watch a special on PBS about this. We're going to stop and check this thing out real quick. Let's take a little walk. I need a break. There was a developer that built this thing. Then he sold it. This... it. Don't quote me on all this, but he sold it, and then it uh, kind of deteriorated. The owners let it go, and then their family rebought the property and rebuilt uh, this thing. Now it's up and running, and a memorial to the guy. But look at this, the world's tallest thermometer. <laughs> and that gift shop belongs to the family. Isn't that neat? Look at that thing. Gateway to the Death Valley, yay. Looks like they got a little eating area. They probably got snacks in there, gift shop. Look at that, the highest temperature was 134 here. Woof. Ho oh, ho. Ouch. But this is definitely a selfie place. Got to get a selfie with the big thermometer. <laughs> See what this sign says. World's tallest thermometer. Oh, they got electric chargers for cars. Out back. Cool. So, if you're ever out flying your plane around, you can cruise by and see what the temperature is. <laughs> Look at the palms, they're happy. They got water here. Neat little stop. Always wanted to see it up close. Finally did. 134. Can you imagine having that kind of a temperature? Oh! Brutal. Alright, we got some miles to do.
Okay, we're going to cruise into downtown Baker. <laughs> and we're going to peel off to the right, actually heading north on uh, Highway 127. This still is California for a while. Here's our little grocery store. I've seen that on the maps. And you get right back on the freeway right there. There is a little RV park here, but I want to do some more miles. Off to the left, there's a little RV park there. We're going to head to Death Valley. That's where we're going. We're on a little adventure. Exploring the Southwest Desert. Yay. This should be pretty good road. I'd never traveled this little section here. I used to always cut over to Nevada up by uh, Death Valley Junction and all that. So this is a little new to me right through here. Should be a fun little drive. We got, I don't know, 50, 60 miles to go up here, I think. If you look at it on the maps, there's all kinds of wilderness areas, named wilderness areas, both sides of the road. Probably camping, not real sure. Gonna have to check that out a little bit. Should be a fun drive. So we're heading to Shoshone Junction. That's where we're gonna spend the night at an RV park up there about 50 miles. Here's a cool stop. It's called Dumont Dunes. They got camping out here. It is a fee-based BLM fee-based big dunes. So there must be more than one in the little dunes. Huh. Must purchase a pass. Rules, regulations. So you can bring your four-wheelers out here, off-road, go play in the dunes. Boy, it is flat here and huge. There's a map of the area. Wow, that is huge. Look at the size of this place. My goodness. Welcome to Dumont Dunes. Look at all the trails, huh? Dunes in motion. <laughs> Just from the winds, huh? Winds come right out of Death Valley. Cool. how open and flat there's the trailers are camping it's soft here too you better come out here with even a four-wheel drive truck and look at the dunes that's where they go play I'll be darn so if you're into sand rails and all that get on out here it's on the way to Shoshone we're just oh I don't know about 20 miles out of Baker Right, we're getting pretty close to uh, Shoshone. Look at the mountains coming into play up here. Look at the terrain. How'd you like to live here? <laughs> really, this time of year it ain't bad, but oh boy, it'd be brutal hot. Brutal, brutal hot. We're still quite a ways from Death Valley even too. But look at that. This vast and open. Once again, that's Highway 127, and we're heading north. Good road, though. Can't complain. 
Be sure to top off with fuel. There's not too many places you can get fuel up the, this direction. All right, looks like we're getting close. Look at the color changes of the soil on the hills. That really reminds me of the painted desert area over in Arizona. And back to flat old desert right here. Here's a little intersection. I see a sign coming up. Little campground off to the right. Cool. We're getting close. We're almost in the town. Yay, made it. Shoshone, California. The RV parks at the other end of town. Supposed to be a little museum here. We'll have to check it out. This looks like the intersection to take you over to Pahrump. We're right on the Nevada California border, right here. I'm sure there is just history here that goes way back. Old mining times, old mining days. Look at the palms. Oh, that was a Caltrans uh, building. There's a road takes you over to Prump. Sign said about 30 miles. Welcome to Shoshone, California. Surviving the heat. <laughs> Local market, liquor store, souvenirs. I don't need no souvenirs. Cross Streets Museum, let's go check it out. Look at the old buildings. They got a gas station here, that's good to know. That says sheriff's office, but look at the old building. Look at the old brick. That's, we got to walk back here. Old wagon wheels on the fence. County sheriff. See what this says. Preserve America's past. Nice. Good they do preserve this stuff. Look at that old building. That's not even a building. That's just a phony front. Look at that. Wow. Cool. Sure. You know, I think this is a real sheriff's office. <laughs> Oops, time to go. Old Coca-Cola bottle. A lot of time and effort went into this stuff. Gotta stop, this is a cool tourist place. Very well done. They got a cafe, outdoor eating, saloon, the crowbar. Stop and have a sandwich at the crowbar. <laughs> the famous crowbar. Okay. Got the gunslinger out front. They are open. That's a good thing. Boy, he looks mean, huh? <laughs> 
stick them up. All right. Well, here's our museum. Doesn't look open, but they got a lot of stuff on the outside. Let's walk around. Look at the size of the letters on the license plate. Old time rusted bucket there. And closed. Governor's orders. Museum is closed. Oh well. Welcome to the Shoshone Museum. Well, next time I'll go inside. I got a lot of stuff laying around out here though. Got storyboard. Talking about some of the geology. Old mining cart. Pretty cool. Wheelbarrows, tools. Look at the old gas pumps. Let's check the price. See what the price was when they quit using them. Chevron. Looks like 39 cents a gallon. <laughs> okay. Well done. It might be closed, but there's stuff to see on the outside. Definitely worth a stop here. Plus, you can have a sandwich at the crowbar, the famous crowbar. <laughs> There's some of the history of the town. Kind of hard to read. Oh, be darn. It's always amazing how they change the name of some of these places. And everything dates back into the early 1900s. Cool. Old water tank there. Look at that. And a map of Death Valley. That's where we're heading. We're heading up in there. We're not going to go all the way across, but we're going to go up quite a ways. Shoshone Museum. Free wireless hotspot, too. So you get Wi Fi here. Or you have a sandwich at the crowbar. All right, let's wander back towards the van. Well, definitely a cool stop to make on this 127 heading up towards Death Valley. We're not that much farther to uh, Nevada border and all that so definitely check it out this is highway 127 in california let's go find that rv park i'm gonna pull off the road for a night go through some of this uh footage here and start editing <laughs> look at the size of that tree wow they got water here for sure gets cold here too I bet this is a uh, kind of high mountain desert we got to be up there a little bit in elevation I bet they get snowstorms here too alrighty I think I see it up here on the left this should be the RV park There it is. Shoshone Trailer Park, RV Park. Cool. Let me go get checked in and we'll wander around a minute. What a cool place. Really friendly. Look at all the sites they got. Really reasonable on their rates. And look at the swimming pool. It's fed with warm water. Stays 90 degrees year round the water comes out of a hot spring look at the color of it stand out against all the brown 
So you can camp here, get you a warm spring swim, then head on up to Death Valley. Pretty cool. Well, 30 miles of state line. We won't go all the way into Nevada because Death Valley is in California. We're going to go up catch that 190. We're to uh, Death Valley Junction. Then from there, we actually head into the National Park. Looking forward to it. What a cool little park here. I'm going to enjoy this. They even got Wi-Fi. Here's our sign for the warm spring pool. I got cabins here too. Nice. Well, I'm looking for a good little rest. Gonna hit the road early in the morning. The journey is still just continuing. We got a long ways to go yet. Talk soon.